story to tell. Among the nine large submarine hunting destroyers of Project 1155 Frigate, designated by NATO as the Udaloy 1 class, built by the Soviet Union since the 1980s, Admiral Pantelayev, 548, is still considered extremely scary for submarines on the ocean. Admiral Pantelayev is currently part of Russia's Pacific Fleet. The class has a number of abilities that can give nightmares to enemy submarines. The Udaloy class destroyer, with 12 ships were built between 1980 and 1991, while the 13th ship built to a modified design, known as Udaloy II class, followed in 1999. They complement the Sovremeni class destroyers in anti-aircraft and anti-surface warfare operations. The ship has a full load displacement of 7,570 tons, an overall length of 163 meters, a beam of 19.3 meters, and a draft of 6.2 meters. The ship's hull is made of steel, has an elongated forecastle, a large camber of frames in the bow, and a double bottom along its entire length. The internal premises of the hull are separated by refractory bulkheads, non-combustible materials are widely used inside the ship. In the middle and aft parts of the hull of the ship are three groups of superstructures, aluminium-magnesium alloys are widely used. In the aft superstructure, there are two helicopter hangars. The ship is equipped with a combined gas and gas propulsion system, feeding two shafts for gas turbines, providing total of 120,000 horsepower. The use of the combined gas and gas propulsion system, allows the ship to have a smaller footprint and also better fuel efficiency at cruise speed than other propulsion systems. The ship can reach a maximum speed of 35 knots, the range can reach 10,500 nautical miles at 14 knots, the standard crew is 300 sailors. Right in front of the deck was two 100mm AK-100 gunships. The AK-100 is a Russian-built 100mm naval cannon, with a maximum rate of fire of 60 rounds per minute, firing a 26.8 kg munition in high explosive fragmentation. The Udaloy class is equipped with eight SSN-14 anti-submarine missiles, which can be used against surface ships as well as anti-submarines. These missiles have an effective range of 5 to 50 kilometers and are located in two launchers on either side of the bridge. SAN-9 surface-to-air missiles are mounted in vertical launch systems, to cope with aerial threats. It also carries two quad launchers for 533 mm torpedoes, which can hit targets 15 to 20 kilometers away. RBU-6000 anti-submarine rockets are used for self-defense against torpedoes and frogmen, while being the last weapon to be fired at a submarine. The vessel was supplemented by 4X630 close-in weapon system. The stern on the other hand can support two helicopters in two hangars along with a helipad. Helicopters are essential for long-range sub-hunting, and the primary Soviet sub-hunting helicopter was the Ka-27. It is equipped with sono boys and dipping sonar to hunt for subs and medium torpedoes to kill them. Electronic warfare and decoys includes Bell Squat Jammer, Bell Shroud Intercept, Bell Crown Intercept. This system includes decoy launchers, decoding missiles, control panels and radars. It deceives anti-ship missiles by distributing electronic and optical lures. The ship was fitted with 2-pack 2 decoy RL.
Admiral Pantaleev currently serves with the Pacific Ocean Fleet of the Russian Navy, and has seen service in anti-piracy operations off of the coast of Somalia. In 2012, she was a participant of RIMPAC exercises involving players from all over the world. Despite her Cold War roots, she remains a potent vessel and critical to Russian naval strength for the foreseeable future, operating in concert with Sovremini class destroyers in the air defense, anti-surface and anti-submarine roles.